pre-mission predicts show a velocity of discovery now 18,500 feet per second at an altitude of 205,000 feet, about uh, 1,043 nautical miles from touchdown. Mission Control, Houston GC officer reports we're locked on and stole the JSC ground station and taking data. Discovery Houston with you through JSC. Configure AOS.
on November 8th, uh, uh, about three months ago today, and uh, here you see the three main engines igniting. They ignite about six in seconds uh, prior to the solid rockets, which are on either side of the external tank. As you may be aware, um, we did have a launch delay of uh, uh, approximately of one day due to high altitude winds uh, because the, uh, we're concerned about structural damage with those high winds. However, when those solid rockets ignite, you certainly know that you are going somewhere. It's a uh, 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 definitely a, a rattling type ride as you're going, but certainly nothing alarming, and really much smoother than you might expect uh, with that much thrust. There's over seven million pounds of thrust coming from the combination of the three main engines and the uh, uh, two solid rockets on either side. As you can see, we launched on a cloudy day, and uh, many of my guests said that they weren't able to, to watch the launch as long as they had on previous missions. This is the uh, trail of smoke that's left behind, and I think it's a good idea that you don't see that from inside the cockpit. We then continue on uh, for two minutes, uh, a, a little over two minutes, burning the solid rockets up to about a height of uh, 53 nautical miles. At that point, the uh, solid rockets are jettisoned, and the uh, main engines continue burning for another th uh, six and a half minutes. This is the view that greets you once you're on orbit, and is indeed, as I mentioned, a spectacular view, one that uh, all of us in the astronaut corps feel very privileged to see. Let me just introduce the crew here. This is our commander, Rick Houck, a Navy captain, and uh, uh, was very privileged uh, to work with him. Captain Dave Walker, our pilot, uh, flew in the right seat. Joe Allen was Mission Specialist 1. Uh, myself, uh, who was a flight engineer on this uh, mission and operated the mechanical arm. Joe Allen, I can mention, was one of the ones who was going to do the spacewalk. And Dale Gardner, also the Mission Specialist 3, who would be participating in the spacewalks that I mentioned. On flight day 3, we deployed the uh, CINCOM uh, satellite. It is, uh, um, the, the orbiter is oriented towards the Earth, and it is ejected from the payload bay in what is called a Frisbee style, which you see here. It's a very large satellite. It weighs 